Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today we're going for a walk through the marsh and forest with the Teletubbies. And of course, whenever we go out for a walk, we take Puppy with us. Everyone say, hi, Puppy. And he's on a leash so he can't run away and get lost. I found something really neat in the water. Can you see something moving? It's a little bug called a water skeeter. And it can move on the surface of the water. I smell skunk. But don't worry, tiny fans. It's this plant with the big leaves called skunk cabbage. As we walk through the forest on the trail, we look for some unusual things in nature. Like this tree. Its roots should be underground, but they're all exposed. This is what tree roots look like. Some are thin and some are thick. Now we've reached the pond, and we're going to go on this green rowboat. Of course, all of us are wearing our life jackets. The boat is quite tippy, and we use two paddles to row. We are looking for some lily pads because maybe we will see some frogs or tadpoles. Oh, <gasps> Tinky Winky, you're just light enough to go on the lily pad, just like a frog. Did you know lily pads serve an important purpose? They help frogs hide from predators. And I didn't catch it on video, but as we were leaving the lily pads, I did see a huge tadpole. A tadpole looks like a minnow, but it's actually a stage in a frog's life. After the boat ride, we find a beautiful pond with fish to feed. There's duck food and fish food. Tiny Treasures is going to feed the ducks today. There's a tray below to catch all of the food. And Tiny Treasures Minnie is going to feed the fish. After feeding the fish and ducks, we go back to the campground where we take Puppy and Doggy for a walk together. And for a dinner, we roast some yummy hot dogs. And the Teletubbies are exhausted from the day so they are about to go to sleep in the trailer. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello, and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today, we have a Melissa and Doug key and doorbell set. Oh, the doorbell doesn't ring. We'll need to put some batteries in it. And there is where you can change the batteries. So, we have opened our little wooden people. And there is the doorbell. Number one. And there is number one key. Now let's open it up and see what's behind door number one. Whoa, isn't that cool? It looks like it's unicorn slime. And it looks like those are sprinkles. Now let's untwist the lid. It looks so sticky. And it also looks like those are marshmallows and candy balls. And it smells like cotton candy too. Okay, now let's lock it back up and let's see what's behind door number two. Ring the doorbell and let's find our keys. There's key number two. Now let's unlock the door and see what's inside. It's party slime! Cool! Let's open it up. 
Whoa. It smells so good. It smells like a nice cake, freshly baked. Mmm. I think this one is super sticky. Let's put it back and lock it back up. There we go. Now let's flip it around and ring the doorbell to door number three. Now let's find key number three. There it is. Now let's unlock it and see what's inside. Whoa, that looks like chocolate ice cream. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. Mmm, it smells like bubble gum. And it's pretty sticky too. Now let's move on to door number four. Ring the doorbell. Find our key. There it is. Now let's unlock it and see what's behind door number four. Oh, look who it is, tiny fans. It's Minnie Mouse and Mickey Mouse. I was definitely not expecting that. And look, there's Puppy. Oh, he's so cute. And thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos, and goodbye! Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today we're going on a treasure hunt with Anna and Elsa. Okay, and we'll bring you to Sven. Maybe Sven can use his nose to find our little surprises. It's time to go outside, Anna and Elsa. Elsa decides the best place to start is the greenhouse. There are lots of places to hide in here. She peeks her head inside, but doesn't see a treasure box. Anna hears the creak. There are lots of rocks to hide behind, but there are no treasure boxes near the creek. Sven is under the cherry tree, enjoying the dried cherries that have fallen onto the ground. What's that, Sven? I see something shiny. It looks like a treasure box. We found it, tiny fans. Let's go take it to Anna and Elsa and open it up. What do you think's inside? There's a little gold latch. Let's open this up. We flip it up. Oh! <gasps> And look, it's gold coins and gems. I see red gems, blue gems, and here's a little tiny green gem. We found the treasure. We have a few more surprises though. Anna and Elsa are gonna go on another hunt. Let's close the treasure box, keep it safe. Sven goes over to the gnomes where the red mushroom is. What are those two boxes? They have question marks on them. Let's get a closer look. They're mini boos. A box for each doll. Anna chooses the green one and Elsa chooses the blue one. They can't wait to open them. Okay, Anna, we'll open yours first. There are 12 to collect. Oh, I wonder which one we'll get. Anna's hoping for Pinky the little owl. 
maybe we'll be lucky enough. It's in a little surprise blue bag. You can even get a mystery mini boo. It's called Mystery Chaser. This is our checklist. You check mark beside the name once you get that character. It's time to open it up. <gasps> Anna, you got Pinky. Oh, they're so beautiful and hand painted too. It even has a little mini TY tag. This is Anna's new pet. Anna is going to take very good care of her new owl, Pinky. But we can't forget to open Elsa's box. It's your turn, Elsa. Let's see, Elsa's hoping for Leona the Leopard. It's right beside Pinky. You never know. We were lucky once. We may be lucky again. This time it's a yellow mystery bag. Look, Elsa! You got the one you wanted! It's Leona! Oh, she's beautiful! And she has a little tag on her ear. Well, that's all of our surprises for today. It's time to get Puppy in the bathtub. He's been running around all day. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today we're going into a magical world in the forest. We're even going to explore the castle. Do you see the dragon on the top? Don't be afraid. He's not real. We are greeted at the gates by a famous character. It's Humpty Dumpty. Wash your hands, cup your hands, drink the Mountain Dew. Be sure to make a special wish. Who knows? It might come true. And this is the entrance to the castle. I see an alligator down below in the swamp. Good thing there's a bridge leading to the castle. And inside the castle lives a wizard. He has a glowing magic ball. He's telling us about the magical forest. I'm the king of the castle. The Teletubbies are at the top. But let's start our journey through the forest. Hey, look, Lala. Mary, Mary, quite contrary. How does your garden grow? With silver bells and cockle shells and pretty maids all in a row. Look, Teletubbies, a house that's just the right size for you. But somebody already lives here. Next, we see a red barn and a red button. When you push it, the farmer starts talking to the rooster. There are a lot of eggs, but did you know, Tiny fans, roosters can't lay eggs. They are male chickens. Tiny Treasures Minnie is having fun with the red digger. We scoop up the sand and we're going to bury a Teletubby. Who is it? Sorry, Tinky Winky. The enchanted egg. And what a beautiful egg it is. There's a little window to look inside. I see little gnomes in a village. And speaking of gnomes, they're all over the forest. This one's under a beautiful rainbow. Do you know the story of the woman who lives in the shoe? She had so many children she didn't know what to do. And there are all of the kids' clothes hanging to dry. Let's go inside the shoe. It's just big enough for me to fit. And there are children everywhere inside. Let's see if I can get up the stairs. Oh, yep, there's another child. And Lala made it to the top. 
Hi, Lala. There's a slide out back. Come on down, Teletubbies. We found another little house, perfect for the Teletubbies. What's inside? This gnome is playing hide and go seek by the tree. We had a great day in our magical forest. It's time to leave through the blue tunnel. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today the Teletubbies and I are camping. There's our little cabin and we are in the forest looking for some wood for our campfire. Ooh, there's a fungus on a tree. And look at the roots on this tree. It came right out of the ground. I'm not sure why, but some trees can get sick, just like humans. Here's another fungus on this tree. Back at the campsite, the Teletubbies want to play a game. That's our favorite thing to do when we're camping. How about we play ladder golf? Have you ever heard of that, Tiny Fans? The fire has started. And after ladder golf, we're going to roast some hot dogs. Here's our game. They come with yellow balls and green balls. There's little beads inside. And there's two attached to each string. The first one to 21 points wins. And we use this tool to keep track of our points. Each bar is worth a certain number of points. The top one's worth three, the middle yellow bar is worth two points, and the bottom gray bar is worth one point. And this is how you get points. We throw our ball and string over to the other ladder. All right, I hit the yellow bar, so I would get two points. Oh, I missed on my second throw. Let's try one more time. Yes, I got three points for the top bar. Three plus two equals five points. Hey, look, Poe found some red ladder golf balls. You can play, Poe. I'm just gonna finish my game with Tiny Treasures. Tiny Treasures is yellow. Oh, the first one was a miss. Now it's time to throw the second one. Oh, another miss. Last chance, tiny treasures. One point for tiny treasures. We're all getting hungry. It's time for some yummy hot dogs. Tiny Treasures was nice enough to organize each hot dog bun on its own napkin. And now it's time to put our hot dog wiener on the stick. You have to be very careful, Tiny Treasures Mini. It's sharp. Oh, I think I'll help you just a little bit. There, that's better. We don't want your wiener to fall off in the fire. And remember, Tiny Fans, fire is hot. So we stay a safe distance away while we're roasting. And when we're done roasting, the metal stick will be really hot. So we want it to cool and get an adult to help us take the wiener off. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today, Tiny Treasures Mini is going to give Peppa and her family pool time in our big bathtub. Let's start the water and pump in some orange scented organic bubble bath. When Peppa and her family are done, it's Poppy's turn for bath time. In goes George, Peppa, Mommy Pig, and Very Muddy Daddy Pig. 
Oh, dear. Mommy Pig is caught under the flowing water. Oh, here goes Peppa. She got sucked in, too. And now Mommy Pig joined her. The bathwater is starting to get very bubbly and soapy. It's getting our toys nice and clean. Tiny Treasures Minnie is using one of our very popular bath toys for the Peppa Pig family. It's a blue speedboat. There's just enough seats for everyone in the family. Daddy Pig is too big to drive, so he must go in the passenger seat. Mommy will be the driver because she has her boat license. And little George in the front. Peppa in the back. And this is a reminder, Tiny fans, always wear your life jacket when riding a boat, canoe, and even a paddleboard. Safety first. We are all done with our boat ride, but where is Daddy Pig? Silly Daddy Pig. He got a chocolate chip banana muffin out of the fridge and is having a little snack. Now the bathwater is ready for Puppy. I need to remove his collar so that it doesn't get wet and wrecked. And that way we can wash his neck too. Poppy loves warm baths. I always make sure it's not too hot. We're going to use our Olaf cup to get Puppy's fur wet. Now we add some shampoo made especially for dogs. Does that feel a little cold, puppy? This is cherry blossom. It smells very good. And you can't use human shampoo on dogs. It must be pet shampoo. They have different hair than you and I. We massage the soap into puppy's fur. Be careful not to get any into puppy's eye. We've rinsed him off, and now it's time to dry him off. He looks so cute wrapped up in a towel. Now Puppy is all clean. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye!